is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Sweet. What's up, guys? So, this is going to be Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Yes. And for this song, we're going to use a lot of cool chords in the key of E. So, this is kind of a nice study for the key of E. So, the first chord is an E chord. The second chord is a B chord. Now, we're going to use this B sus4 chord. And very important with this shape is to mute the top string, okay? Otherwise, it kind of sounds still like an E, okay? So, I sometimes mute it with my middle finger just kind of leaning over here. You could also use this B, but this B works nicer with the riff. Right? And then a C sharp minor. That's gonna be the same as the B shape, just moved up two frets. And then, I'm gonna use this A, which is sixth fret and seventh fret on the two middle strings. Okay, so once you know those chords, those are all the chords that we're gonna need. We can also play a, a B chord like this on the seventh fret, which we're also gonna need for the song. So if you take your E shape and just move it up all the way to the ninth fret with the pinky here, and then add the index finger, then you have the B. And you can also drop this down one string and remove the middle finger to get an E chord. So this will be E, B, and this will be A. But you can also play A like this, but this A is a bit nicer to me. Okay, so let's do the intro riff. So it's gonna be, so you're gonna do bass, strum, and then go F sharp, G sharp on the E string and then end on the B chord, so. Yeah. And strum the B chord. So that's basically the verse progression that you're doing. And then you go C sharp, D sharp on the A string. And then go to the C sharp. Okay, so just slowly E. sharp E, A open, and then again to the E. So let's do the first part slowly. Second part starts the same. Then it goes to G sharp. Now I haven't showed you this chord, which this chord is the only bar chord that we're using. But you could use this chord. But I don't like this one for this song so much. But you need to use a bar chord. So it's like an E minor moved up to the sixth fret and then put the finger down on the fret. It's very important to put it on the fret. Some people put it in the middle, but then you, you're always going to get dirty notes. Put it on the fret and you can use your middle finger to support it. Make sure it's not doing that, which most people do at the beginning. Make sure it's nice and straight. Do you guys hear that? I think somebody's vacuuming or something. Anyway, so that's the that's the riff. So so the second part, let's just do the second part again. Boom. <laughs> 
that's a pom pom. Da da da. Okay, so that's the second part. Really, really nice. And you can repeat that in the verse, but I like to play the verse with just a, a picking a strum pattern. Just a small town girl in a lonely world. You can also do A like this if you want to get closer to the E. Or like that. And the strum pattern is. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? And you can also do down. Just a But I like this one better. Just a You see, it sounds more rocking. Okay, now let's get to the chorus, which is where things really start to become fun. So in the chorus, we've got this A chord here, but then we go like, we start on this. A with a sharp 11 shape. So, so this is borrowing from the B chord, which is over here. So the A chord is kind of borrowing notes from the B chord. That's kind of the theory behind it. So, so I'm just borrowing notes from another chord, which has a nice tension inside it. So it's like, and then I'm, I'm going to, the first time I'm going, bam, 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 bam. Going up here to frets 11 and 9. So, so this is 7 and 8, dropping down to the A. And then I'm going up. This is also an A chord. It comes from the C shape. I'm using the C shape. Okay. So the chorus starts like. Bum, 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 bum. And then I've got this E shape here, seventh and ninth fret, but I put the middle finger down on the G string be behind the, the, the pinky so that I can do this. So I'm also borrowing this note from the B chord, which I like to think of it like that rather than E major seven, E, E major seven, E. That to me sounds cooler to say. I'm borrowing notes from another chord, okay. So we got the A, and then the E. If you palm mute, it sounds really nice. And then at the end of the last line of the chorus, we've got this. Let's do that again. B, E, B, E, A. satisfying song to play i love this song okay so there you have it guys enjoy jamming out this song perfect campfire song have a nice day bye